All right, we got footies on Sufati. Let's take a look at them and let's try them out. We're looking at a card that has five star skin moves with a four star weak foot, high medium work rate, and he is 5'10. Current acceleration type is mostly explosive. 99 pace, 94 shooting, 91 passing, 96 dribbling, 80 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, he looks like he's going to be a very fun card to use in this game. Definitely drawn to that max style pace. Hopefully he feels like that pace because if he does, he can be a really fun card to use in this game like how I just mentioned. And also he can be really effective in many ways if you do utilize his pace correctly. Now, the recommended chemistry style for Ansu Fati is going to be that marksman. Just so you can get some crucial upgrades to his shooting, dribbling, and to his physical stats. You're going to get some nice upgrades to his finishing shot power and to his long shots. You're going to max out those finishing. You're going to get that nice upgrade to that shot power and also significantly upgrade his long shots as well. Those right there are going to be very crucial stats for this Ansu Fati card. It's going to make him as reliable as possible when it does come to finishing and also make him a big threat outside of the box. So in general, I do expect this card's shooting to be pretty consistent. We are going to get some nice upgrades to his reactions, ball control, and dribbling as well. With how good his agility and balance stats already are, those upgrades are also going to be very crucial to his dribbling. So since he is 5'10", and with those amazing dribbling stats, especially after the marksman upgrade, I would expect this guy's left leg dribbling to be one of his strong suits. So hopefully we get some good gameplay, just so we can get the full experience of his left leg dribbling, and just so we can see how good it can really be in this game. Because once again, if it could be really effective, he could be really, really dangerous. And also, you are going to get that plus 8 to his strength from 74 all the way up to 82. Now, I'm not quite sure how much that is actually going to help out this card. He is 5'10", so I'm not too confident that the strength upgrade is going to help him out a lot. But as always, it's FIFA. Who knows? It's FC24. Anything can happen. And I honestly want to be surprised. But honestly, you really want the marksman just so you can really focus on upgrading the crucial stats in his dribbling and his shooting categories. When we do dive into his play styles, he has eight play styles and four play style pluses in the power shot plus, the ping pass plus, the tiki taka plus, and the technical plus. Now, I don't normally like the power shot plus in this game, but with the footies Marcus Rashford that I just reviewed, his power shots were actually insane with his play style. So hopefully that is the case with Ansu Fati as well. Pink pass plus is going to allow his driven passes to be really, really effective. Tiki Taka Plus, obviously, in those closed quarter spaces, his passes are going to be very, very good, and also those one-touch passes as well. And obviously, with the Tactical Plus, his control dribbling is going to feel absolutely amazing. Vela, whip pass, incisive pass, finesse shot, all other play styles that will improve Ansu Fati in a very positive way. Especially the finesse shot and the Travella is just going to add to the versatility of this card's finishing. And obviously, for this review, we will be trying out Ansu Fati as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1. This is just so we can be the main focal point of our attack and just so we can get the best out of him in this review. So with that being said, Ansu Fati looks like he's going to be a fun card to use. Hopefully he is a beast. So let's hop into the gameplay and let's see how good this card can really be. That's lovely Ansu Fati. Great way to start things off. As long as his dribbling feels really good and that he feels really quick in this game, that's all I care about. That's honestly this card's playstyle, even just based off of looking at his card. Ansu, great dribbling, great finish. See right there, just be a little bit shifty on top of the box, get into the box, utilizing that left stick dribbling, that little acceleration boost as well into a finish. Quick turn. Well done with the Travella. Use that technical. Beautiful. Oh, what a finish. Let's go. Nice piece of dribbling there too again. Nice little steal there. Hits him with the finesse. I like that. Nice little run there. Another finesse, great finish. Dude, so far his finishing has actually been incredible. Another run. Let's burn by Kyle Walker. Brings out his keeper. Unreal, what a great finesse there. Well done. Uh, ooh, good save by Vander Sorry, I was going to say well done, but he shot it with his weak foot, and I wasn't too happy about that. I don't know why the game made me switch onto his weak foot there. Like, I have the Travella. Let me use it. Fantastic, Fatty. Five star scoop moves. The ability with the scoop turn there honestly helps so much in that situation. Nice 
Well done, Fatih. Had to hit him with a little hesitation there, too, to create that space. Like, I didn't expect his finishing to be one of his strong suits, but I'll tell you what, it is actually really consistent so far. I know I mentioned it before, but still. Ansu? Beautiful. Let's go on, Sue. Don't know why it made him lose control of the ball there, but I'll take it. As long as he ends up scoring, I don't mind it. That piece of dribbling and also that strength is actually pretty impressive for a guy his height. Look at this kid's dribbling, dude. It's honestly fantastic. Ah, ooh. A little bit of jam, I'll take it. Nice, Ansu. Love the way he was able to put himself in that space too, off the ball. Go, Ansu. Fantastic, Ansu. Well done, Ansu. What a finish with his weak foot. His left foot inside the box, not gonna lie, is pretty inconsistent. But I guess right there, it just decided to work. Ansu Fati. A little bit of luck there, but I'll still take it. <laughs> well done, Fati. Yeah, I love his dribbling. It's really, really good in this game. It feels really, it feels really, really good as well. It's so effortless for him whenever he turns, even when he goes side to side. Like it's just very, very smooth. It's very easy for him. Nice, Fati. I love that little touch into that space for that near post finish. Oh, unlucky with the bar. Unlucky with the bar. That would have been actually a crazy finish. Great spacing in there for post. Great finish. There you go. Mix up for it. But I love the way he's putting himself in these positions to get on the ball, turn, and then finish. Ansu. Ansu. Well done. Oi! Unlucky with the post. That took like a deflection too, but still. Yes, well done, Ansu. That's class, well done. Unlucky. Yeah, see, that's the thing with his weak foot. He drags it so far wide sometimes. Like, that's what makes it inconsistent. Sometimes it can be very accurate. You can be really impressed with it. And then sometimes it turns into that. Fantastic. Well done. I love the borrow scoop in this game. Well, lasso. See, that's what I mean. He can drag it so far wide. Or he can put it right into the back of the net. All right, so when it comes to my guy Ansu Fati, I can definitely say that he is a very good card to use in this game. I am pleasantly surprised because honestly, I didn't have high expectations with this card. Mainly because he only had eight playstyles. But honestly, guys, he is so, so good in this game. There are a lot of good features about this card as well. So let's get right into it. In my opinion, the best thing about Ansu Fati has to be his dribbling. Mainly because of how responsive he feels on the ball. He can be really effective with the left stick dribbling, especially inside the box. You can create so much space with them, utilizing his left stick dribbling. And it is so much fun to use and also really, really effective. Also, because of the tactical plus play style, his control dribbling is also very, very good as well. It's very smooth in this game. And when you do combine it with the great left stick dribbling, that is a very dangerous combination with Ansu Fati involving his dribbling. And you can just create so much space and really make an impact with this card on the pitch when you do utilize that combination. So in general, his dribbling is absolutely fantastic and it is 
is definitely a key if you do want to be successful with this card now when it does come to his pace i did find that he was pretty quick i'm not going to say he feels like that 99 pace but he still does feel really quick in this game which is honestly pretty surprising since he doesn't have the boost from the rapid or the quick step play styles usually these two play styles allow a really pacey card to be a little bit more explosive but honestly he doesn't even need it in space he's a massive massive threat and you can also utilize space to get by defenders in this game as well so like how we say the duality of the effectiveness of his pace is very very good with this card it's very very key as well and in general it is very fun to utilize and also very very effective when it does come to his shooting for the most part it was really consistent the only inconsistent thing about his shooting has to be his four star weak foot as you guys saw in the gameplay it's either he drags the ball so far wide of the far post or it goes into the back of the net there kind of is no in between and that's honestly really unfortunate but honestly guys there's still a lot of positive when it does come to his finishing though his strong right foot is very very consistent with the regular shooting mechanic with the finesse out play style and also with the Travella play style as well the versatility of finishing with the Travella and the finesse shot is honestly very very good with this card you can be very effective with either mechanic and the power shot plus i didn't really showcase it much into the gameplay because honestly guys i don't use it too much but I am still sure that if you do put him in the right areas, the Power Shot Plus can be really effective with this card. So in general, for the most part, his finishing is pretty consistent. You just have to make sure that you do put him on a stronger right foot to utilize the Finesse Shot Travella or even the regular shooting mechanic. You just have to be a little bit aware of his weak foot. It can be very good sometimes. It can be very, very terrible sometimes. It honestly just depends. It's really inconsistent. But for the most part, once again, his finishing is still really, really good. When it does come to his physical stats, that is the one thing that I'm actually very surprised about when it does come to this Ansu Fati card. He's actually pretty strong in the ball. I think the plus 8 to his strength from the marksman actually helped this card out a bunch. He did not get knocked out of the ball very easily, and he honestly shrugged off a lot of defenders off the ball as well. So in general, I was really happy with this card. I honestly did think that this card is actually really, really good in this game. He's a lot of fun to use. 5-star skill moves, good pace consistent shooting amazing dribbling good physical stats as well you can pick them up for free in the season progression so if you guys have unlocked them you guys might as well use them it's a lot of fun to use and you guys will definitely not regret it so with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like that would be much appreciated subscribe for some more eafc content and for some more player reviews make sure to follow all the socials in the description and as always i'll see you guys in the next one